Leos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your re this is your reading for the week ahead. Um, I'm starting to do Tiny Turtle Tarot Tuesdays, so you can expect me on a Tuesday now. And if anything I say in this reading resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing, as always. Let's see what's going on for the week ahead. What's Whoa, that was strange. Two of Cups just flew out. Like, it didn't even... Like it slid out, that's weird, slid into your DMs, I don't know. There's two of cups here. This is union with a soulmate. What's happening, Leo? What's going on? Have you met someone? Ten of cups. Whoa, two of cups, ten of cups. Have you met someone? This is your person, the emperor. The seven of pentacles, seven of wands, two of pentacles, eight of cups. Okay, okay. Let me let, let me just get a hold on this. This is a lot going on. Eight of Cups. Whoa. Okay, so seven seven seven. You might be seeing that a lot. Um Whoa. There's something here. You've been very patient with someone and it's paying off. If you've like been stubborn or stood your ground, if there's been an argument or if you've had a falling out or if things haven't gone in a very positive way, you have known you were right. And instead of questioning it, maybe in the past you would question it, you're not questioning it. Like there's gonna be something happen like Eight of Cups, I feel like there's a little bit of anger and then you walk away from a situation. Maybe usually you would like yell back or something. I don't know. I said yell back, that might be significant, but something's gonna happen and you just walk away. You're like, mm. your patience is paying off. If you walk away and you stay silent, in this, like, this isn't like a partnership. You walk away, you hold your tongue, you bite your tongue, I should say. You are the, like the one and then it leaves someone else in charge. Like you've done what you could do and it's like balls in their court now. I don't know, this is strange, this is weird energy. Something's, something, I'm hearing that's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. The sun on the bottom of the deck, so it's happier than I'm letting on. It's a lot lighter than I'm letting on. Temperance, healing. You might feel called to like run away, Leo, or walk away or leave or change location and somebody else doesn't want to, but you're like, look, and then you kind of, it's always like you like, you stay silent and you're like, just, I just see you looking at someone like, and you just look at them and then eventually they go, fine, you're right. Because usually you're more combative or something, but your silence speaks louder and they, they're like, fine, you win. We can move. I don't know why it's like, it's weird because I don't know why you were asking. You weren't asking permission. You were more like telling, like, we're moving, we're going to do this or something. And they're like, are you sure that's a good idea? And you were like, and they're like, okay, yeah, it is a good idea. There's something this week where you're going to go, and I'm saying this past tense, so maybe it's already happened, but I feel like it's the week ahead because that's what I asked for to come out. But it's something where you're just going to go and you're going to get your way by just looking at someone instead of like because seven of wands you're, you're like loaded like if you were a gun you're a loaded gun you have you could say what you wanted to say you can stand your ground you can say what you need to say but you're winning the argument without even needing to it's not even an argument it's just like a difference in opinions and you just go and they go fine and ten of cups like your perfect life is underway or it's on the way Ace of Cups, love. There's like, this could be a new baby coming in. Um, or it's a new, it's like a new place in the world where you can be at peace and happy with the Ten of Cups. Like, look how, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Like, I feel like this is new. There's going to be a new place where you build this Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. You're also, this is funny because this is similar to what I just said about you not kind of, like saying anything but you somehow win seven of swords is like you don't really know what they're up to and five of swords almost like you might have a sneaky game plan of like how to win someone over or get things to work your way and it's gonna work if that makes like it's gonna work whatever this is i don't know so if you have 
if you're in a relationship and somebody like there's been a difference in opinions or a difference in the way you're looking at things and instead it's like you just go quiet and then they start to like they're because you've gone quiet and it's not like you then their head starts to kind of go oh god oh god and they they start thinking and like i want to say even if you're in the wrong not that you are but even if you were in the wrong, you, you're going to win this argument. <laughs> Especially with the Seven of Swords. You, really, you never know if the Seven of Swords, if he's in the wrong or right. Nobody knows. Is he stealing those swords? Are they his? Are they not? Right? What's he doing with them? He just looks kind of like... what well, You just don't know his intentions, right? And that's kind of how you are. That's your energy coming through. I'm like, hmm. Are you wrong? Are you right? But it doesn't really matter. You're winning either way. <laughs> when you look at it from that perspective high priestess high priestess holds her tongue wow i'm good at this hold your tongue and this could this might not be in a partnership necessarily but it's definitely in like a family situation because there's cups here there's love around so it's either a friend that's like family it's family or it's a lover because there's love around this romantic or not there's love around and you're gonna you're just gonna have a difference of opinions and you're just gonna go and there's something where you're gonna hold your tongue and it's really going to benefit you. You'll win. Whether you should win or not is out of the picture. You're going to win. And that's all that matters. <laughs> um, if I look at it from your perspective. Um, the Hermit. The King of Pentacles. Again. With drawing. But also. Hmm. This could be um, King of Pentacles. Kind of father, father energy. Father, fatherly energy. So King of Pentacles and the Hermit. Coming through. <sighs> King of Swords also. This is funny. What is this? I don't understand. So you're either you or your father. This is coming through and it's like they're pulling back or you're pulling back. Ten of Pentacles. Could be about a house selling. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, buying a house, selling a house. Um, I don't know, but there's a lot of Pentacles about. There's a lot of Pentacles about. And with the King of Pentacles hermit, it's like, this could be exactly what I'm on about. It could have been your father where you're going to go. And you're just going to shut up about something and then it's going to work in your favor because they're going to be like why are you so silent it's going to freak them out <laughs> what else the moon mystery hidden that's landed on the king of pentacles so it could be your father that's silent um the fool although this doesn't have to be your father by the way king of pentacles can just be somebody around you it's very grounded very stable but I just, the fact that I said father is significant. The Fool and the King of Swords. There's a new journey beginning. Getting something come through about like a honeymoon phase of a new journey. Like there's going to be like a new start in your life. And it's going to have a honeymoon phase or something. I just dropped a card and I can't find it. Am I going to find it? Yeah, got it. Uh, nine of Swords, yeah. King of Swords, Nine of Swords. Hmm... King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So the World card came out, which is the card, the final Major Arcana, and we have the Fool, which is the first. They always seem to come out next to each other, which is funny. Nine of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Nine's here as well. You might see niners, niners a lot, nines a lot, but nine of cups. You are like, there's something here about you being afraid to be happy. I don't know why with the world it's like, if you're happy, you're worried that it's not going to last long. You're worried that that's like the end. Or that if you're happy, I don't know, it's something about it's not the end of the world for you to be happy. I don't know why it's coming through. Especially with the Five of Cups here. Like, it's like you're sad, but you're happy. But you're sad, but you're happy. But then you're happy, but you're sad that you're happy. It's really strange energy. Like, you're afraid. And especially with the King of Swords here. Like, there's it's something about something about King of Swords. Like, you're afraid to be happy. It's almost like somebody... This could be somebody, like, seeing you happy. Somebody sees you happy. And they're not happy that you're happy. 
this is really like i can't even usually i could talk and talk and talk and talk but like i've gone speechless now i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> bless me okay the lovers the magician and the six of wands sorry the nine of wands yeah more nines huh hmm what's going on with the nines um whoa so i can't show you the lovers because it's naked people but there's the lovers and the magician you're manifesting like there's a choice that you've kind of manifested i don't want to really say choice for the lovers card but it's coming through there's kind of like a choice between There's a choice between being very closed off with the Nine of Wands or being a lot more open to being creative and creating because the magician is the manifester and he can create the reality that he wants. But it's almost like this fear of that, of like, like you're afraid of your own power to create your reality. Like, because once you start, Like, once you start, then you have to take accountability for everything that's going on around you. Whereas now, it's like, you're just kind of circumstance. Not a victim of circumstance, but it's almost like you're just going with the flow. Whatever's happening is happening, and you're going along with it. Whereas once you start, like, manifesting your world around you, you're then going to kind of go, Oh, I could have done this a lot sooner or something. But it doesn't matter. Like, time's not, like time, ignore the timing of it. If you are wanting to manifest something, if you have a vision board and you want to bring something about and you're, like, learning about manifestation or the law of attraction, you're going to create this thing. Don't be blocked off to new ideas. Don't be blocked off. There's something about a king of swords that you're trying to, like, hide from. Or, like, this could even be, like, a family member and you're hiding from a king of swords or you're hiding your feelings or you're covering them up. You're trying to, like put a band-aid on them and like even like act happy because to me now that i'm looking at it that person is supposed to be happy nine of cups is supposed to be happy to me they look really like they're pretending to be happy so there might be something here especially with the five of cups underneath where you're pretending to be happy in order to hide feelings about a king of swords whether this is someone you used to be with or i don't know something where you're hiding your deep oh my gosh wow the moon is deep hidden emotion was right underneath that deep hidden emotion so the deep hidden emotion here but like hidden hidden you're really like faking like happiness and but 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 here's the weird thing it's actually manifesting healing whoa like that's weird like that's not weird but it is because you shouldn't have to pretend to be happy. You should feel comfortable enough to show your emotion. But it's almost like you're like, what good's that done me in the past? I'm sick of being upset or I'm sick of being sad. And it's like, okay, show your emotion. But you're like, it's not helping. I'm going to choose to try and be as happy as possible for as long as I possibly can. And so it's kind of like the law of attraction on its own. Like you've kind of found your own way to the law of attraction, you can, even if you've not learned about the law of attraction or manifestation, or even if you have, it's like you've come back round to it with the world as well here. It's like you've come back round to going, okay, I'm just going to be happy. I'm just going to be as happy as I can. It's all I can do. And it's actually with the law of attraction. If you're feeling happy, you're attracting more happiness. And But it's to begin with, it feels like you're faking it. To begin with, it feels like you're having to pretend to be happier than you are. To begin with, it's like, oh, this is a front, this is a facade. On the inside, I'm feeling like this. On the inside, I'm feeling like down, upset. But like, I'm faking it, I'm putting on this. But actually, you faking it. Like, there's actually, isn't there like a study that if you smile, it actually like raises your dopamine levels or something? I, I might be wording that completely wrong, but if you smile, it actually does improve your mood. And that's what you're doing without even realizing. Like you're subconsciously, by putting on a little bit of this facade, and I'm not telling you to, if you have emotions you need to let out, please let them out, please talk to people. But what I'm saying is, it's also the fact that you've done it has attracted happiness to you. I'm not saying you should carry on doing it. I'm just saying it has manifested good things to come to you because even though you've had a lot of crap, if you've been feeling down, you still carried on facing the world and spreading kindness and happiness wherever you could. 
and it's kind of like good karma coming back towards you. It's not even a front, like I shouldn't even say you're pretending to be happy. You're just trying your best to be as happy as possible in any situation, no matter what's happening inside of you. Which is very beautiful because a lot of people, when there's like heavy stuff happening, especially with the Nine of Swords, a lot of fear, sleepless nights, Five of Cups. When other people are going through this, some people let this turn them bitter and horrible and mean and cruel. Whereas you're like, okay, I'm going to choose to look at this from the perspective of I'm going to be the best person I can be anyways. Just because I have lots going on doesn't mean other people don't. So I'm going to try and be, like, so I really want to take back the part where I said you were, like, putting on a front, you're putting on a face so you're happy when you're not. It's more like you're just trying to be a good person and put out positivity in the world whilst also going through a lot. Um, so I kind of babbled. I'm sorry for babbling. Basically, this week, create. Don't be afraid of your ability to see your life unfold in front of you from what you've manifested. If you have something you want and it seems out of reach, go write it down, put it on a sticky note, put it under your pillow, watch it come about, whatever it is. What I don't know why I said put it on a sticky note, but go write something down that you want and see it come about before the end of the year because I, the year like could be the end of the week, right? Whatever this is, you are capable of creating it. But there's something where you doubted that or you're afraid of that. Let me get you one more card, because this has been a very random reading, and I feel like I've not given you any information for some reason. What else is going on with Leo for the rest of the week? Judgment, deciding. The strength card. This is your card, Leo, and the sun was here earlier, both your cards. And judgment. Huge stuff happening. The world. You've got majors everywhere. Like, everywhere I look, you've got major things happening. Um, but you have a big decision to make this week. I don't know what it's to do with, I just know there's a decision. Could be, I don't know why I'm getting something like, I'm just looking at that and I'm just, I don't know why it's just making me think of like, um, this could be like a medical thing, but there's something where you've got to make a decision about your health or something. But with the strength card, it's going to take a lot of emotional mental strength. So maybe this goes against the grain. Maybe other people aren't going to agree with you, but it's going to work out um, for the best as long as you're prioritizing like your own health obviously um i don't know maybe it's not even your health you maybe got to make a decision about someone else's but you sure like make you don't even need me to tell you what to do the judgment card is like do what you feel called to do when you feel called to do it don't like there's usually a trumpet like there is a trumpet right so it's listen to the trumpet's call listen to that little whisper in your ear or the feeling you're getting even if it's quieter even if you have a bigger voice saying do this leo do this listen to the whisper listen to that little tiny call within because that's usually the most important one strength card it takes a lot more strength to listen to that little tiny like whisper saying you should try this or you should do this whatever it's about so let's say this is about like i don't know i can't even give you an example what was i saying at the start of this um, was I saying about buying a house or something or moving? And so it's like you say, say you have a little whisper in your ear going, it's time, it's time, sell the house, sell the house, it's time, it's time. But then you have a bigger voice going, maybe next year, maybe next year. But then there's a little tiny whisper, sell the house, sell the house. Or you've been seeing signs, but they're tiny. It's the tiny things that all add up. And then the bigger voice is usually trying to keep you safe and comfortable in your current reality. Um strength have strength listen to the little whisper i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching i'm sorry it was really sporadic it was kind of random it kind of went off on a tangent and then took the whole thing back but hopefully you got something from it and if anything i said resonated or if you just like my style please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday